Thank Someone you. Pinch them. So cute. Cobb Granger, is that what so you do? You, I don't. I, I actually wake up pretty happy when I wake up <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a happy person in the morning. But now my dog, some of you have uh -huh, uh, met Dazzle. Dazzle before. Yeah, he uh, he looks at me when I, especially this shift, and he's like, "What are you doing? What? Why, like, Dad?" That evil look that, that she was just giving there. Yeah, dog doesn't want to wake up either at this hour. Hopefully, your morning is going well here on the outside. It's now 6:48 here, and we do have another wet day on the outside. Here's some of the flooding issues we've been talking. about. About some of the creeks that are rising, ponding on the roadways. Well, this is what Steve found in Sevierville just down his street yesterday. This, he said this was his neighbor's driveway. So, no doubt some of you will be seeing some issues just like this and maybe even more so because the rain does continue here today. Here's a look at live radars here this morning. Everything started off to the west here and is now marching off to the north and to the east ever so slowly here this morning. Knoxville now getting wet up to La Follette, back to Crossville, and a pretty heavy storm right now over Jamestown. We're going to zoom in. And take a closer inspection on some of these areas or so. If you're traveling into downtown this morning from Bearden all the way back over to Hardin Valley, down I 75 to the south, the Athens, very light to moderate showers here this morning. But as you're driving, that mist gets up into the air and then gets onto your windshield. Here's up to the north, that heavy shower in Jamestown from 127. If you're headed back into Crossville, down through Grimsley here this morning. And then spotty showers still off to the east, still trying to work its way uh, off into the north and to the east from Whitesburg. Down uh, Interstate 81, over the Morristown to White Pine, down into Cock County, into Newport as well. A closer inspection into Sevier County, Highway 66, headed out of town or into town in downtown Sevierville. You're going to be seeing light to moderate showers here, as well as back over into Seymour and Boyd's Creek here this morning. You see, Futurecast paints very nicely what happens here throughout the morning hours. Light to moderate showers continue to hang with us here throughout the morning into the early afternoon, and then by the lunchtime, it's going to be messy on the the outside. My suggestion, pack a lunch and take it with you and stay in the office so you don't have to fight the mess around town and then head home this afternoon. You're going to have to fight it. So that's why you might not want to do it at lunchtime. Go ahead and have a stress-free day here so you don't have that face that little girl was making on your drive around town. And then by five o'clock, we have the spotty showers that continue with us and then on into the overnight hours. It's 59 right now in London, 61 for La Follette, 58 for Knoxville, down to Townsend. It's 59 in Rockwood. Temperatures are warm very slowly here today, but not a whole heck of a lot here. In fact, right here in the valley, we're going to be at about 62 in Knoxville to 60 in Oak Ridge, 62 for Loudoun and Athens. A soggy day here across the area. Over into the Smokies, watch out for some gusts here by this afternoon, about 25 miles per hour. Gatlinburg, the Cosby, 58 to 60, 62 in Pigeon Forge and Maryville, 62 over in Madison. Bill as well. In the extended outlook, we show that showers continue during the overnight hours here tonight, dropping back to 50. Tomorrow is going to be noticeably cooler, though. Showers ending here through the middle part of the day, and then we bring in the sunshine here on through Saturday and Sunday, but temperatures back into the 50s here. But notice the overnight lows also getting cooler as well, back closer to the freezing mark. So, Melissa, with all of that happening out here on the roadways, uh, let's check in with you to see if there are any slowdowns we need to know about.